It's a pleasure to have this opportunity to talk with you about the work we are doing at the Imagining the Internet Center at Elon University. First, those of us at the center would like to give you some background on our work, and then I will share key findings from our recent report on the Internet of Things. Imagine. Imagine how the Internet is revolutionizing everything. Some total of human knowledge can now be accessible by everyone. Imagine the future unfolding at a pace faster than we can comprehend. We are living in a world that changes faster than it ever has in the history of our species. You go back a thousand years and you can go through your life and never see anything new. Right now you see something new every year. The Imagining the Internet Center at Elon University in North Carolina gathers people's projections, their hopes and fears about the positive and negative impacts of disruptive change. Imagining the Internet's mission is to explore and provide insights into emerging issues, to inform the public, to serve the greater good. On our website, we've documented experts' expectations, their hopes, and their fears in thousands of videos and hundreds of written research reports and news stories. And we've traveled the globe to question the experts, asking them to imagine the future impact of communications evolution. These projects hold a mirror to humans changing lives in an ever-changing world of interactive information sharing. Imagining the Internet exposes vital issues to better inform our planning for the future and it provides a historic documentation of a revolutionary time. Imagining the Internet has many dimensions. The center feels documentary journalism teams that travel the world to provide near real-time reporting at Technology Futures events. Elon University faculty, staff, and alumni have produced hundreds of multimedia stories. Influential technology innovators, astute policy experts, and other people from around the world are sharing their foresight regarding crucial issues we need to address. We are documenting their optimistic expectations for great good to emerge along with their frank statements that some negative, predictable, and unintended consequences of technological advances could lead to a very dark future. Survey research is another important part of imagining the Internet's work. Many books and dozens of research reports have been produced containing thousands of predictions by experts. The findings of this work provide powerful insights we are beginning to understand the fundamental changes that rapidly evolving communication networks are bringing to societies and to the lives of individuals. Elon University partnered with Pew Research to complete a web-based survey of more than 1,600 people about the next digital revolution, the Internet of Things, the continuing proliferation of billions of connected tech screens, wearable devices, appliances and artifacts, smart grids, cameras, and sensors that are being embedded, often invisibly, in our environments, in roadways, homes, businesses, cars, and other products. Nearly everything, including humans. Those surveyed said they expect positive change that touches most people's daily lives by 2025. But they also warned about the privacy, security, and social implications of this new data-saturated world, about the complexities involved in making networked devices work together, and other potential negative impacts. We identified six broad themes from their responses, and I'm going to share these and one or two of the 1,600 responses for each. Theme one, the Internet of Things and wearable computing will progress significantly between now and 2025, impacting nearly everyone. J.P. Rangaswamy, the chief scientist for Salesforce, said everything will become nodes on a network, taking the guesswork out of planning and decision making. The net effect will be to reduce waste everywhere. We will even see connected devices slowly merge into the body. Paul Sappho, a futurist with Discern Analytics, predicted, the biggest shift is a strong move to multiple devices with overlapping functions and an interrelationship with our other devices. Theme two, the realities of this data-drenched world raise substantial concerns about privacy and people's abilities to control their own lives. 
the level of profiling and targeting will grow and amplify social, economic, and political struggles. Laurel Papworth, a social media educator, said, every part of our life will be quantifiable and eternal, and we will answer to the community for our decisions. Nick Reeden of the University of Technology Malaysia predicted, there will be absolutely no privacy, not even in the jungle, away from civilization. I don't like this, but people have shown over and over again that they're willing to trade away their souls for a dollar off coupon. Theme three, information interfaces will advance, especially voice, touch, and eye movement triggered responses. Per Ola Christensen of the University of St. Andrews said, Systems will be able to take context into account and enable users to fluidly combine several modalities such as speech, gesture, and eye movement, providing robust results. Paul Jones of UNC Chapel Hill commented, We look like kung fu fighters now, but soon the personalized interface issues will settle on a combination of gesture and voice. Theme 4. It may be difficult to get these systems to work together and to access and troubleshoot problems, there will be complicated unintended consequences. Jerry Mikulski, founder of Rex, said, the Internet of Things is too complex. It will break over and over. Most of the devices will be vulnerable. They will also do things nobody designed for beforehand, most of them undesirable. Pioneering Internet sociologist Howard Rheingold observed, what child will be able to know that a doorknob that recognizes their face doesn't also know many other things. We will live in a world where many things won't work and nobody will know how to fix them. Theme five, consider the ramifications of digital divides. The unconnected and those who just don't want to be connected may be disenfranchised. K.G. Schneider, a university librarian warned, what these devices primarily signify is a growing gulf between the tech haves and have nots. I'm concerned that as the digital divide widens, people left behind will be increasingly invisible and increasingly seen as less than full humans. Miguel Alcane, ITU representative for Central America said, unfortunately, the Internet of Things might not help people in developing countries because of their tendency to focus on the short term and not on the long term. Theme six, the Internet of Things will recast the relationships people have with each other and with groups of all kinds. Futurist and consultant Brian Alexander predicted, our sense of belonging will redistribute globally and by affiliation. Public and private spaces will acquire a new layer of interaction and mediation with twittering car tires, writing on fridges, and projection on cabinets. John Markoff, senior writer for the New York Times said, the blurring of the line between humans and their machines is well underway. That said, 2025 will still look more like today than it will look like Neuromancer, Snow Crash, or the Diamond Age, or Accelerando, for that matter. This has been an extremely brief briefing of a 67-page report, the analysis of more than 200 pages of written elaborations by survey respondents. I encourage you to read the full report and investigate more on your own about the positive and negative likely impacts of Internet evolution. And please check out all of the other useful resources available on Imagining the Internet's site. Thank you.